Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We're going to do a review of how the AM1 5350 Athlon processors has stood up over the last couple years. We're using the ASRock ITX board. I'm going to take these side panels off real quick and uh, show you what it looks like on the inside. Um, and then we're going to upgrade the graphics card in it from um, the onboard, which is a R3. Radeon R3 uh, integrated graphics and we'll put the R7 370 in it. Okay, so don't knock the power supply. This was in the original case that I built with this motherboard. Um, it's a Diablo Tech 400 watt uh, single rail. It's actually been pretty decent. I've had zero issues with it um, and on these low power builds um, they do they do pretty fine. Here, This board um, processor cost me $49 and the board cost me $15 at Micro Center years ago. It's got two 4 gig uh, RAM chips in here so we have 8 gigs of RAM and that, that's pretty much it. Um, it's the AM1B ITX. It's a very base motherboard. Um, it does have USB 3. Um, it's got one PCIe 16X slot on it. I believe it's 16. It might only be a yep, it's only an 8x slot. You can see the pins right there. Um, so it will only run it at uh, 8x, even though it's a 16. Simple I.O. Yes, that's an old serial connector, uh, LPT1, LP1 connector for a printer. Uh, it's got two USB 3s on the back, two USB 2s, um, a combo PS2 port your VGA and DVI and HDMI 1.4 um, and your standard audio jacks in out and speakers and on the front of this case has a single huge fan case is very modular all three sides can go whichever way you want if you want the clear plastic on the one side you can do that or you can do it on the top like I have um, and on the front has two USB 3s and your front audio, hard drive, and power LEDs with your power button. And reset buttons on the bottom. So, let's throw this card in there. So this um, is why you never throw anything out. I had to get... Let's focus, focus, focus. I had to get two of these adapters. Luckily, I had them in a box. Because this card is a dual six pin PCIe connector. Uh, dual six pin power. Um, so we're going to use two of these. One I already installed. Here's the second one to provide power from Molex over to. Um... So I lied. I put the 90 gig in here. Um, it's just for the operating system and office. Everything else on here uh, will be stored. In the Western Digital Blue 500 gig, long story short, this is just your typical plain Jane office PC that I've spent way too much money on with the case and throwing all this other stuff in there. So just for fun, just need a computer for upstairs and this guy should do just fine. You know, thank you for watching this. If you got any questions, um, just leave it in the comments below. I will link uh, the case the hard drives, the uh, all the components that we that we used um, for this build here in the description below. Uh, there'll be Amazon affiliate links, so if you want to look at them, go ahead and click the links, add them to your cart. Doesn't cost you any more, but it gives me a couple couple pennies in return. On top of that, uh, these AM1 parts are coming very hard to find. I know in a lot of countries that, you know, power consumption is, is a premium. These builds went a long way um, just for, you know, power savings. You know, all you need is a 24 pin connector and one SSD and you're running, you know, this right at 25 watts. I've seen some really small enclosures for it, but Leave that for another video. Uh, thanks for watching this. I'm getting this guy back up and running and it's gonna be my new office PC upstairs. Thanks for watching.
here's the final product. We installed the R737 in here. We've got it upstairs here and um, it's, it's running really good. This is at idle right now. It's using about 757% CPU. It's throttled all the way down to a little bit over one gigahertz. Um, no, we didn't activate it because this is just a little office PC. So when I'm up here um, doing my work, I've got a sit stand desk coming up here, but this is a perfect office PC. And this is this is kind of what you would see at, at a small home office. Um, we want wireless with a wireless keyboard and mouse, um, 22 inch display. And this is the ITX case by Thermaltake. Um, they do have a larger one um, that would take an M ATX board, but um, I've had this one for a very long time. I really like the case. It's got plenty of room in it. Uh, you can put some fans on the back of it, but with not a lot of information being out there on the AM1, I'm just, trying to put something else together to show you that this still is a viable solution for those that just need something whether it's your parents whether it's your grandparents or whether it's something like me where I just needed a cheap basic computer in another part of the house and that's what I'm using it for um, really really happy with this little computer I bought it just for fun years ago when they released the AM1 just to see what it would be like. And I've been overly happy with it. I've run Linux on it for a few years. Um, I bounced back and forth with different operating systems. This is a great little test bed. So thanks for watching guys. Just want to add this quick little blurb to it at the end. If you've got any questions, any comments, suggestions of what maybe we can do, what, what you want me to try, maybe I might take the 1660 Super and throw in here and see how this thing does with streaming. That might be something coming up that we can do. I've, uh, I've been thinking about that. That might be a really good option. Well, thanks for watching. All right, good morning, YouTube. Uh, I'm gonna throw this short clip in the end of the video I was just creating on the ASRock AM1 Athlon um, build I had, had created in this Thermaltake Core V1 case. As you can see, she is empty. Um, still the power supply in there. I believe the hard drives, um, yeah, one of the hard drives is still in there. Um, so what had happened was, what had happened was, um, as I was playing around with this computer, I was going to make it, you know, try to do a streaming rig on it, um, just to test out if that four core Athlon AM1 5350, which is only a two gigahertz, 2.05 gigahertz quad core CPU, um, or APU, if you want to count the integrated graphics on it if this little guy would have um would have been able to be capable of streaming long story short the fx 6300 that i had on the msi uh 970a uh, pro carbon gaming motherboard that was an atx motherboard with the cpu and some ram i sold that on ebay uh i believe it got a little bit over 140 dollars plus shipping on it um, and then I saw the AM1 boards going for like 80, 90 bucks plus, um, not including the processors and some of them did have the processors on there. So I threw mine up there 50 bucks. I was like, you know what I've got, um, that, that's all I had wrapped up in it, including the Ram. So I sold the motherboard with the processor and the two gigs or the two sticks of, um, four gigs of Ram. So what was it? Eight gigs of Ram in there. Um, I sold it for $50 plus shipping um, on eBay as well. So that was taken out of this case. The FX 6300 um, motherboard combo was also sold. Uh, so I easily got $220 over the last um, the course of a week, really, having both of those boards up there. So this case has some more stuff that's going to come down the pike. I don't know what I'm going to put in there yet. Uh, I'm really thinking of doing a 
another Ryzen build, uh, maybe a, um, since this is an ITX case, I don't know if I'm gonna take and put the 2600X in here, um, or I'm gonna take the 3200G and get a ITX board and throw that in here. So the streaming rig, um, which would be the 3200G and the 1660 Super, will be in this case. I, I really like the case. It's got a huge single fan on the front of it. Um, I I like the modular sides on it where you can take the, the honeycomb on the side and put it on the top with the glass on the side if you want to show off a, a video card or your hard drives. It's got two small, I believe these are 60 or 80 millimeter fans you can throw on the back here. But overall, this is a really good case. It's plastic. It's not glass on the top. But I wanted to end this video with a short uh, recap because in the video I did say I was going to try and throw the 1660 in here and try to use this as a, um, as a streaming rig just to see if it would just stream 720p, 60 frames. And life got in the way and I saw these boards going for more than I paid for them. And I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna sell it. I'm not gonna use the AM1 for anything else. With everything going on in the world, everyone needs a computer, budget computer, whatever. So I sold it, sold FX6300 stuff as well, but leaves me another case that's open. Um, this power supply will not stay with this, with this build. I mean, this is only a 400 watt power supply. It will not stay with a, a Ryzen build. Um, I don't know why. I just, I feel confident with this, this power supply on a 25 watt TDP AM1 um, build that I had in here, but I, I don't think I want to throw anything, um, anything heavy in here. Uh, maybe the 3200G would be fine on it, but I probably would pop the power supply, um, blow up the power supply, whatever you want to call it, before, um, before I would hurt anything on the motherboard. The quality seems to be okay on it. It's not the best thing in the world. It was a Diablo Tech power supply. It came in a case years ago, but enough of me rambling on. I wanna just get this video compiled and published here very shortly so we can have another updated AM1 uh, video here on YouTube. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, if you like this kind of stuff, please like, comment, subscribe. Leave some details in the bottom. If you got some questions, I will respond as fast as I can on this. Um, again, I really like the AM1 processor. I bought it just to rebuild an in-laws computer. I bought, I uh, picked up one for myself. It lasted, you know, with no issues over the past, uh, geez, what it's been like five years, I guess. I really liked the idea of having a, a low TDP, almost silent, you could do HTPC build with them. Um, but I, I kept trying to make con content for it, showing the good quality of that AM1 processor and uh, motherboard combinations that we could have. But again, nothing me rambling. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. Again, like I said before, and I'll see you on the next one.